Hello students. Today you're going to take Cornell notes on tines. Go ahead and divide your notebook into the question and notes section and then we will get started. So first and foremost, tides are the ch daily changes in the level of, of ocean water. Let's look at some pictures to see that. So let's look at this picture to really see how tides work. So you notice in this picture it's the same exact picture, same exact frame, but you'll see the level of the water has changed. On the picture on the left, you can see that the water is pretty much up to the pier. Let me use red here. Right there. Uh, you don't see uh, the dock where you can put a boat in, but here on the picture on the right, here you see the dock where uh, it's in the other picture is completely full of water, covered, and the rocks, of course, the level of the water is a lot lower. This happens every day. Uh, tides happen every single day in every single part of the ocean, or all oceans. Now, what causes them? We're going to move on to that next. Before we move on to the next point, make sure you make up your own question here. You have to have a question for each set of notes. Eventually, you're going to start taking Cornell notes some days all by yourself, so you need to practice that. That's what you do in college. Right, next point, number two. For this next point, I'm actually going to show you the picture first and then we'll take the notes. So look at this image here. High tides are caused when the moon is closest to the earth. Um, the water is kind of pulled towards the moon because of gravity. When two objects um, that have mass are moved close to each other, uh, there's a force called gravity. So the side that's facing, uh, the moon's uh, side that's facing the earth's side pulls the water because of gravity. The Earth is pulled towards the Moon, and the uh, the Earth is pulled towards the Moon. The Moon is pulled towards the Earth, and the water goes along with it. So this gravitational force also pulls the water, and this water bulges up. These places where it bulges up here is called high tide. These places, so that's these areas here. This is uh, where the area where the water be a very high level and because if the water is pulled in those two areas then the other two areas here and the opposite side that would be low tide so what you have to remember is that high tide is caused by the gravitational pull of the moon the, the side that's facing the earth and the opposite side that's the area where high tides occur I want you to draw this picture so take about two minutes so, uh, pause the video and then draw the picture and then uh, write down the notes so for tides uh, are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon I put sun there in parentheses too because the sun does play a role but because the moon is closer to us it has more of a gravitational influence on the tides than the sun does go ahead and make up a question for that idea now The last point, number three, is that most places on Earth have two high tides and two low tides. As the, move, as the moon uh, moves around the, uh, the Earth, it rotates around the Earth, it uh, creates high tides and low tides, usually two, per, two high and two low per area um, around the world. Go ahead and make up a question for that last one, then make a solid line, have your one advanced question in your three sentence summary. You will input this online, but make sure you write it in your notebook too. I expect to see it. I will be collecting notebooks very soon. We're almost in November. Alright, have a good day. Move on to the next step.